How are you feeling about your win tonight against Nick Rabundo? Well, I'm very happy that the uh, people of the 5th District uh, are returning me to represent them in the United States House of Representatives. Uh, I uh, want to do everything I possibly can to earn their trust uh, every election that when I run. But uh, you earn that trust by doing your work in your district and also in Washington. So I'm looking forward to getting back to Washington and uh, to... Uh, uh, get the work done that we have to get done, especially on the jobs and the economy, making sure that we get the COVID package, especially the one that Nancy Pelosi is holding up right now, the additional $130 billion that had been appropriated but hadn't been expended, uh, that we have a piece of legislation to get that out right now. But unfortunately, they're holding it up because, as we know, that uh, the Paycheck Protection Program has put out about $521 billion dollars and this has about another $130 billion in it that uh, had been, as I said, appropriate but not expended at this time because it's helped uh, over 51 million Americans with their jobs. And it's also helped over 5 million uh, uh, businesses, small, medium, and large. And it's also helped uh, 123,000 uh, employees here in the 5th District along with 6,000 businesses. And we also want to make sure that uh, we, we're working on getting the uh, a vaccine out there uh, because that's so important, uh, reopening our economy. One concern about your position as congressman is that you're not active enough in your district. Um, those concerns have been oh, that's raised. A lie. <laughs> that's those... a lie. I, I've done, I've done 1,200 uh, uh, meetings in the last eight years and, you know, uh, I, I'm out in my district all the time, and uh, no, that, that's the funniest joke out there. Those concerns have been raised by the mayor of Bowling Green when I spoke to him, as well as your opponent and other voters. Um, if they don't feel as if you're active enough in their community, what do you want to do to make sure well, that you're filling in that gap of people well, who maybe feel left I, out? I tell, you, I tell you, if you're a Democrat, you're going to say that against your Republican opponent. But uh, there, I'd like to find someone who's done as many meetings in their district, uh, especially at my uh, courthouse conferences. We've done well over 130 uh, in my district, with some having lasted over six hours. So, you know, that's just that's uh, you know that's just called politics. You know that you want to say something negative against your opponent, even if it's not true. So that's that's a good one for the night. As of right now, President Trump is not leading in the state of Ohio. What is your response to that? And are you concerned that the Republican Party will lose the state of Ohio and it will flip blue? Well, well, you know, right now uh, I, I've been on the road and I have not seen all of the returns that are coming in. So we'll find, uh, you know, as the night goes on uh, with the different uh, counties as they uh, report. So it's, it's going to be a long night. Are you expecting that President Trump will win the state of Ohio? And uh, like I said, as of right now, he's not winning the state. But what do you think he needs to do in order to win back those voters who may have chose Joe Biden this round? Well, you know, the, the voters are already voted right now. And so, you know, it's the messages that uh, each put out there. But the uh, president was talking jobs and the economy, making, you know, right at the top of the list, the national security. We want to make sure that uh, that's out there, that it's very important that, uh, you know, we develop a vaccine. So, uh, you know, those are things that, and as I mentioned, uh, what I've heard from my constituents, because I've been on the road uh, for over the last month uh, across my district and my counties. And you know, one of the things that we're seeing across, the, the, not only about my district and across the state of Ohio, but across the country, that uh, the number one thing that uh, people are talking about is, you know, that when I've been in companies, small, medium, and large, that they need employees to work. So it's, uh, it's, it's important that, uh, you know, we get people back to work. What do you plan to do in this next term? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to change? And what are your top priorities as we enter into another year very soon? Well, right off the bat, it's, it's jobs and the economy. The tax, the tax bill that was passed uh, in the last Congress that the president signed, that Republicans in the House and Senate supported, 
got this economy moving. That's why we've seen the economic uh, upturn that we had. That's why we had a 3.5% unemployment rate going into this uh, uh, COVID at the beginning of the year. That's why the United States economy is uh, doing much better than other economies around the world because uh, not only the, the tax legislation, but also the presence on the regulatory front. And also when we did the Paycheck Protection Program legislation, if we could get Speaker Pelosi and the Democrats to uh, get on this and help the, get that those dollars out there on the uh, remaining $130 billion that will help many more Americans, that's important that that gets done. We want to make sure that, that we get a vaccine. On my end, uh, being the ranker on telecommunications and energy and commerce, we want to make sure that uh, we have uh, – uh, the uh, broadband across the country that we have to have the support not only on the education side, the telecommunication side, the uh, health care side, the farming side, the manufacturing side, the uh, autonomous vehicle side, and also making sure that we have it for the uh, 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 for, for schools. So it's, uh, those are some of the top priorities in getting 5G set up around the country. Uh, autonomous vehicle legislation, which I uh, authored in the last Congress, which passed the House uh, by a voice vote and came out of committee 54 to nothing. So uh, it's very, very important. Congressman Bob Latta, I do want to... And right now, uh, Trump is up in Ohio. I do want to thank you for your time and also point out Democrats did, in fact, uh, pass the HEROES Act earlier this year. Thank you so much for your time. But, but that, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you still there? Yes. No, no, no. That was passed on a party line vote without ever working with Republicans. And so it's important if you're going to pass legislation in Congress, you have to work with somebody else. And they re- did not even work with Republicans on either of their two relief packages. So always remember that you want to have bipartisanship, not partisan with the Democrats are. So have a great night. Thank you.